It's Newbury Thursday! Woo! And uh, we're at Churchill's again. We haven't been here forever. Seriously. I this has been a time. long, long time. This is your first time, isn't it? Uh, no, I've been here before, but not Well, not yeah, with us, week. right, doing a show. I think the last show we did, we, we had Brad on, so yeah, it was a long time ago. Uh, but we have uh, two special guests with us from Magic Rock Brewery in the UK, England proper, I assume? Yep. Or London proper, London calling. England. I'm making random <laughs> jokes about London. Yorkshire. Yorkshire. North, North okay. of England, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to randomly fall into yeah, a, a really bad English accent here now. Not. It's not intentional. <laughs> so, uh, so we have Rich and Stu. Um, you, Rich, you're the owner of Magic Rock, That's and correct, Stu, yeah. you make the delicious beer. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And uh, you guys are doing West Coast American style craft beer in England. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I guess uh, we think we've turned things sort of full circle a little bit. We've. I know a lot of the breweries out here were inspired by uh, English breweries. Mm -hmm. So like kind of Alesmith obviously have their, right. their range of English beers and a few others and and I guess uh, we have been really influenced by the beers that were coming back across right. to us. I mean, the, the you're like, oh, copy us. We're gonna copy you right back. <laughs> yeah. The small amount that were imported, but obviously, as you know, with these things, especially IPAs, pale ales, hops is really important and yeah. the freshest. And it always takes a month for anything to get to the UK from America. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, I was and vice versa. Yeah, I was I tasting say. those. I thought we can do better than that. <laughs> so, He's like, Psh, yeah. your IPAs make me laugh. I scoff <laughs> at your IPAs. I shall brew something amazing. Yeah, not quite. Not, <laughs> not quite. But we, uh, we thought we could. Basically, we wanted to make beer so we could take it home and drink it ourselves. Right on. I think that's how a lot of breweries start. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. totally. I think so. uh, most most breweries, especially in the craft beer side, they're like. I brew beer. I should brew a lot more of this so that I always have it at my yeah, home. Exactly. And then I can sell the leftovers. <laughs> so. well, and it's kind of funny because especially like the early craft brewers, like, you know, in the 90s, a lot of that came from people like, you know, living in another country or something like that, coming back to where they live and they can't find any of that awesome beer. Exactly. Right. So they wanted to make it themselves, right. you know, so. I mean, that's, so, that's the history of beer generally, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. yeah. I mean, that's it's like, pretty much where it all starts. So we're gonna we're gonna start off with your high wire, which is a West Coast pale ale. Yeah, um, we're on the West Coast now. We are on the this West Coast. It. You you are bringing this beer into some really rough acid. territory as far as acid test. Yeah, I was gonna ask, is this like the West Coast of England? Or yeah, no, no, it's not, it's not like no, Liverpool. Or, no, not so much. No. All right, so um, cheers. cheers to cheers. you guys and to English beer. Cheers. Thank you for coming on the show. This has got a great aroma, first of all, and it's definitely a hop forward pale ale. What 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 hops are you using in this? Chinook, mm -hmm. citra, and um, Columbus dry hop. Okay. Um, hop back has um, Chinook, citra, uh, Columbus cascade. Nice. Okay. It's all American, an all American hop. Because, I mean, this is going to sound incredibly racist, but you guys mostly just use fungals over there, don't you? <laughs> uh, we never bought any fungals. Yeah, I mean, not you in particular, but like the, the crowd, the, the, um, the beer ingredient. Is that a beer ingredient? Is that a beer ingredient? <laughs> No, not really. Well, Only, yeah, you know, if you're making somebody a... Somebody must use fungals, but we don't. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, and that's one thing that I wanted to ask, is like, obviously the hops that you're using are American, but I would assume the rest of your ingredients are sourced in the UK, because, I mean, even you have a lot of American oh, yeah. brewers that yeah. are using we, like, uh, British we, malt. We use uh, Golden Promise. Oh, It's our base malt. Um, and um, we use a little bit of... Um, Famous uh, malts, specialty malts. Okay. First of all, talk about the name High Wire. What's what's the uh, what's the basis behind the name? So I mean, <laughs> the, all the names start with the the name of the brewery, Magic Rock. Mm -hmm. It's called Magic Rock because it's it's at the same site as my uh, family business, my father's family business. Mm -hmm. We wholesale rocks and crystals and minerals. So we have like a lot of. How does like, one get into the rock business? That's a very uh, well. Geology. A geology. It was very strange. <laughs> geology. I mean, it, it literally was geology, but it's uh, yeah, strange thing. He realised there was money to be made out of a crazy 
in like um, tumbling stones and, yeah. and making your own jewelry and stuff in the 70s. Okay. So he, so he came home and he's like, these fools in America, they have pet rocks. Yeah. We need to like sell rocks. See, I thought they like chiseled them out of a wall in Cardiff and then put them on logs and rolled them. Out. It's, a, it's actually easier to explain the explain the rock business thing in England, it's, sorry, in America than it is in England because you know about rock shops and people with right. crystals and healing and shit. Right. <laughs> in England, they don't really know that, you know. But anyway, we, we're at the same site and I wanted, we, I thought we should, every brewery should have a, a grounding in where it is, I think. Okay. Names no. for the sake of it is stupid. Nice. You know? Yeah, yeah, when, absolutely. I don't want to call ourselves Huddersfield Brewing Company, but I want us to be have a have a base. Does it make you feel we'll... better about crushing your father's dreams and not going into the rock business? <laughs> no, he loves it. Cause he, gets, he, gets, he gets rent off us. So it's happy. It's happy. It's happy. He's like, you. son, I love your business, but you're still paying me rent. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's very happy. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's much he's, rock he's because... pushing us to take some more space. Yeah, he, he, yeah, we, we're a good thing at the moment. Nice. Yeah. So now we're drinking the can. Ball. Stu, tell me about this beer. This is really is our our um, take on West Coast IPA. Okay. This is our just like we love West Coast IPA. This is our best best effort to uh, make it for us. And this was this was bottled a couple of days ago, right? This was bottled on Friday. Friday, Friday is what Wednesday? I have no idea. Yeah, it's probably Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday, I think. So, yes. Yeah, Friday. It's pretty fresh. It. The, the the drunk jet lagged brewer knows more about what day it is than I do. That's a sad statement for me. <laughs> Which is funny, considering you're working Monday through Friday now, so you would think that you know. I, I found it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, <laughs> like turning up to work on Sunday. If my like... alarm goes off in the morning, I know to go to work. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at these days. Um, well, this is really good. I, I would say that the aroma is a little bit... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what is the word you're looking for. Um, it may be that I'm I stuffed up a little bit, but I'm not getting much off the aroma. Yeah. So it's a little bit, I, I want to say, muted's a good word. I was going to use lackluster, but I don't want to use that word. Because yeah. the flavor on it's really, really good, but normally I expect a little bit bigger pump on the aroma. Are you do, using aroma hops or? Oh, oh yeah. big style, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah, we do two dry hopping stages on it, okay. but we are still using. Um, we're not on new hops yet. Uh, we're still waiting for new props to come through for, uh, for okay. this. Okay. Yeah. It's a fantastic beer. I mean, it, it drinks amazingly. It's got a great flavor profile. Um, I think I, I'm just so used to, like, Stones and Joy Buy and some of these other beers that are just, like, all aroma now. They're just, like... They... We've been drinking them all day, so I agree, yeah. <laughs> I agree, I agree with you. Yeah. And uh, I think, really, we're on last year's hops. Um, yeah. Well, and I think that's a relatively newer, like, push is this, this massive, like... I don't want to say flash hop because I don't even think that's an actual thing. I don't think so. But like, very so, much like hopped at the end, dry hopped, open everything the for aroma. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you open the bottle and all of a sudden your room smells like hops, you know. And that's that's in the last year or two that we're starting to see a big push in that in the West yeah, Coast. Yeah. And well, it's it's one of those things. It's like they, it's more like because there is such a huge demand for it now, especially that brewers aren't afraid to. Uh, well, make the investment in those kinds of beers because I mean, to get to really get that level of aroma takes a lot of right. hops, like a lot of hops. Yeah. So. Uh, well, I think uh, home brewers like uh, Kelsey McNair and Paul Sangster, they've both been doing big, huge, like aroma hopped home brewers and winning big awards here in San Diego. I would almost credit them with that push starting from them here in San Diego. So. Yeah. It, well, I think it's kind of like a everyone kind of feeds each other on that, right. you know. You know, the brewers who are big hot beers, so home brewers are like, I'm going to do an even hoppier beer. And the, the professional brewers are like, I'm going to do an even hoppier beer. It's right. kind of like a back and forth, like, fuck, it must be hoppier. <laughs> you know? Uh, I think it is actually exactly like that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I see Mitch Steele and, like, you know, Chuck <laughs> Chuck from Green Flash just, like, flipping each other off from their windows of their brewery. <laughs> fuck you, Mitch Steele, and you're in Joy Buy. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going fresher. Yeah. I'm going fresher than you. I'm like driving by, like right. throwing hops at him, like, ah, eat that hop, motherfucker. How many, how many beers do you guys, what's your standard line? We do uh, four beers in cask, mm -hmm. permanently. Uh, which is a requirement for English breweries, right? Pretty to do cask ales. Seventy-five percent of the beer that we make goes into cask. Okay. Uh, around about twenty percent of the beer we make goes to keg, and about five percent into bottles. 
Now, is that a legal thing? Is camera now a legal thing in the UK, or is that just something that is because of the demand? Camera don't really. It's the market. Camera don't have any effect on, okay. uh, on us at all. Okay. I, 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 you know, I, I read about that sometimes, and I don't really understand it, and I think, I don't live there, so I don't really care. Uh, and then I stop reading uh, about it. <laughs> so, camera are uh, simply a consumer organization. Okay. Uh, camera is the campaign for real ale. Yeah. Uh, not in the They're at, They've uh, um, cast effectively done their job. Yeah. Yeah, they've made it so that people in England think that unless they, they're drinking it out of a cask, they're not drinking real ale. Yeah. No, here's a question. I mean, well, how, they, they define how do you feel ale. about that? They define real ale. Right. Real ale is a term that exists because of camera. Right. Um, um, basically, they've done their job in a sense that they, what they started out to do was revive um, traditional brewing and cask beer. Um, which which is a good thing. They right. have done. Right. Um, but they haven't changed at all in the last few years as the sort of... The exploration has kicked in. What, what's happened in the UK is that uh, a lot of brewers have started kegging beer mm -hmm. um, because, you know, we, we see that as, uh, as being the way that our, our kind set, of beers are sold, the styles, ideas that we do. Yeah, this IPA yeah. does not suit the castle. No, you want this to be cold, you want it to yeah, be yeah. fresh, you yeah, want it to be... Yeah. That's the thing that you I want to add. A bit of carbonation like, yeah. as well. I mean, like, how... Is it one of those things that you kind of, when you brew a certain beer, you kind of already know whether or not yeah, it's going mean, to work on cask or not? We because set, We set out from the very beginning, didn't we, that we wouldn't really cask anything above 6% right. for a couple of reasons. I mean, the main reason is because we don't think they work like that because like IPAs especially, they're better a bit cooler, they're better with some carbonation. We're looking for drinkability, we're not looking for maximum... F we are look to, looking for, for great flavour, but we're not looking for like a one-off rate beer tick of maximum flavour. We want someone to come back and drink it again. Right, right. Uh, the, other reason, the other reason is because bars won't sell them quick enough. Yeah. When you put a cask beer that's six, seven, well, seven, eight percent on the bar, there'll be one or two pubs will sell that beer in two days. I mean, we don't really want our cask beer on the bar more than two days. But now we're drinking Magic 8 Ball. Yeah. This is delicious. What's going on with this now? Stu? It's a uh, black IPA. Okay. So it's as dark as we can get it without making it too roasty. Mm -hmm. um, and it's dry hopped with um, Columbus and uh, Nelson Sola. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. That's, that, I think that's why I was so excited. Nelson yeah. is pretty much my favorite. I think that because I yeah. I really think now the Nelson and the, the the bit of roastiness that you're getting off of this beer work really well together. Like as I'm drinking this, I'm like I'm getting that Nelson hop flavor that I like, but then that roastiness is kind of coming in through the bag and be like, hey, what's up? What are you using for the dark malt? Is that Carafa or Carafa special for you? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. How did you guys decide to do, start doing like U.S. style? I mean, was there a certain beer that you had that was like a trigger? We, we wanted to make the beers that we liked. Yeah, it was the so, beers that we liked, but if you want a, a trigger, if you go right, right back, it's really boring, but yeah, SM Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, I guess. There you go. Yeah, yeah was, For me. Yeah. Yeah, but because it made a link from the pale ale, the pale uh, English bitters I was drinking that were hot with Cascade, mm -hmm. to like, I could, I, you know, it was more intense in the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Yeah. yeah. We want to thank you guys for coming all the way out to the U.S. solely to Just be on Newbury Thursday. Just for us. We know that's exactly the only reason you came out to the U.S. That's it, yeah, that's it. Never mind that you rush shipped beer to do the show because you weren't planning on it. Whatever. We won't talk about that. <laughs> so, how long are you going to be in town? Uh, we're here another sort of five days. We're going to head... Tomorrow we're going to start heading north. So we're gonna hit up like the brewery. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go do the LAOC scene. We're gonna go up Hollister. We end up Paso Robles. We're gonna yeah, Firestone go to Firestone. Then we're gonna go across to Kern River. Got to. Well, that's a long ass drive. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> the Kern River should feel honored that you're making that <laughs> drive. drive. Across the They're worth it though. They are totally worth the drive to go yeah, there. Yeah. Then we're driving to Chico. Yeah, we've got bigger drive. Oh Jesus. Yeah, that's you guys are insane. You guys I are like travel it. maniacs. I like it. Wow. Right. Right. Well, I'm actually I'm leaving tomorrow night for San Francisco myself, so I'll be driving into Santa Rosa late at night. So we're going to be there. We're going to be at Sunday. Sunday. on Monday. On Monday, yeah, I'll be I'll be gone already. I'll be back here already. I got to be back at work on Monday. San Francisco on Sunday night. Sunday night we'll be there. San Francisco. Yes. Um, I will be in San Jose Sunday night. Yeah, so I'll be on my way back. 
Um, but yeah, so I, I got to be back so I can actually make a living, which is awkward. Well, this one under misconnections. Yeah, no, right? I will totally Craigslist both of you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Craigslist UK. You were the bearded brewer that I met on Newbury Thursday. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's, that's not going to happen. So, but yeah, so um, we thank you guys very much for coming. Your beers are phenomenal. They're okay. amazing. Um, will we see them exported to the U.S. at all? Or? No. No? <laughs> unless we, think, uh, unless, is that, this is the only time I'm ever going to drink these unless beers? Unless we can find a distributor who wants to take like a pallet a month. That's not fresh. really much for the boat. No. Uh, it's not a lot. Not really. All right, I guess I will take care of it. Oh, we, we, we don't need to sell uh, West Coast IPAs to uh, no, we, we, the we, West Coast. To the West Coast. We understand, you know. Really I mean, doing. there's no point. Well, all right, well, it gives me a reason to come maybe, to the UK. Uh, you know, the phrase in England is selling so coals to Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Newcastle was right, famously yes. somewhere that was a big coal mine. Yes. I actually got Coast that joke. <laughs> so... Um, now where, like, okay, so for our viewers that are in the UK that have never heard of you, where do they find you? They can get our, they can get our beers online at, at uh, Magic Rock uh, Brewing. Would that be the web shop? www.magicrockbrewing.com, yeah? Yeah. yeah, that's the web shop or... We're, we're, all the, we're all of the best craft beer bars in London. Yeah, the, the draft really. is yeah. available. All right, so I might be in London in October. I'm still trying to work the details out. You have to come and see us. I do, yeah, I need you guys to take me on a tour of the craft beer shops in London. Tell me what, yeah, we'll come and I'll come yeah, down. We'll, we'll, we'll work that out because that needs to happen. I need to, I need to figure out where these places are. Yeah. Yes. So, all right, well, thank you guys. And until next time, stay safe and drink beer. Cheers, dudes. Cheers. Cheers.